Hey guys, welcome to Stockbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Mac using Google Cloud Platform. If you don't have a backup system for your Mac, whether it's an iCloud or Google Backup, this is a good affordable backup for you. I'll be showing you how to backup using our clone, then show you how to schedule that backup, and then show you how to encrypt and decrypt your files so you can back them up. Okay, to start, we'll go to our Google Cloud console, let that load. Then go to your menu, top left, look for storage, and then browser. From here, well, let's create our bucket. And we're going to name our bucket. So we'll name it as Mac underscore backup 2020. That's how creative I can be. Now click continue. For location type, you can pick multi region, dual region, or region. I just want minor and region. If you pick multi-region, it's slightly more expensive. And then for location, I'm going to pick central, then click continue. For default storage class, you have an option for standard, nearline, code line, and archive. On the right, you'll see your monthly cost estimate. For example, if you have a terabyte of files, it will cost you $20 per month. And the retrieval, the data retrieval, is free. If you pick nearline, that's slightly cheaper, but the data retrieval is not free. Same with cold line and archive. Now, depending on the functions of your backup, pick the most appropriate one for you. On my case, we're going to use the archive. So click continue. Choose how to control your access and objects. We're going to leave it at fine grain. Fine grain is more secure, but the uniform is good as well if you're the only one accessing the files. For advanced settings, we're going to leave that as Google Manage Key. Do you have an option to set the retention policy? This will ensure that your files doesn't get deleted accidentally. When that's all done, click the Create button. Great, that's all good. It has now been created. The next thing we want to do is install our clone. You can drag all your files over here, but if you have a lot of files and larger files, it's much easier to use our clone. So to start, open a new tab. Now search for rclone, or you can simply go to rclone.org. rclone has been around for a while. You can read all the descriptions here, but you can actually use this for your AWS services as well, Dropbox, or Google Drive. Now let's click the download button. So we have two options to install here. You can either click this button over here that will download the rclone, but for me, I think the best solution is copying this terminal command and then pasting it on your terminal. So open your terminal application on your Mac and then paste that command. Then hit enter and it will ask you for the admin password, enter that and then watch the installation. So great, now our clone is installed. You don't need to do anything, anything else. All you have to do is execute the command. We'll start with our clone config. We're going to create a new remote connection, so press N. And then type in the name of your remote connection. I'm going to name mine GCP Backup01. Your name can be anything as long as it's alphanumeric and there's no spaces. Once you've established that, hit enter. Then the next thing is asking is what type of storage are we connecting to? So let's look for Google Cloud Storage. Ensure that it's not Google Drive because they're pretty close. So in this case, it's number 12. It might be different depending on when you watch this. So type in 12, hit enter. And now for client ID, you can leave it the default, which is nothing. Hit enter. For client secret, you can leave it blank as well. So hit enter again. For project number, we're looking for the project number on our Google Cloud Storage. So let's go back to our Google Cloud Storage bucket and then go to your settings and you should see your project ID there, copy that and then go back to terminal and then paste that to the project number. Hit enter. For service account file, we're gonna leave that blank, so hit enter. For object ACL, you wanna pick number four, which is object owner gets owner access, then hit enter. For bucket ACL, we wanna pick number two, which is project team owner gets owner access. ACL is the access for each folder 
Uh, on the previous one, we just did the owner, and then on this one, we just did the project. For a bucket policy, we're going to use the default, so hit enter. Now we need to set the bucket location. We've actually picked that already. We had central earlier, so we'll put 16. So pick the best location for you. For storage clash, I've already picked archive earlier, so we'll pick 6 and then hit enter. For advanced config, we're not going to edit that, so let's press enter or N. Now for remote configuration, this will connect to our bucket, so let's press Y on that and then hit enter. It will open another browser that will ask us to log in to our bucket. So I'm just going to log in, put in your password, and enter the two-step verification. Once that's connected, it will ask you to allow our clone to connect to your Google bucket. Click allow. And then we are connected. Now go back to your terminal. It will give you the summary of the configuration, including your token. And once you're good with that, press Y and then hit enter. And we're done configuring our remote, so press Q to quit. And we are ready to execute the R clone backup command. So I have files on my desktop folder. That's what we're going to test to backup. I've named it documents. Now to back this up, let's go back to terminal, type in R clone space and then sync. And then the location of the folder, the easiest way to do that is dragging the folder to terminal. And then we need the remote connection name, followed by colon, followed by our bucket name. I'm just going to copy it here and then paste it over there. Once that's good, hit enter. Since I only have a few files, it should be pretty quick to back this up. And there it is, it's done. We can check this by going to our bucket, refresh this bucket and it should have five files in it. There it is, it copied all the images. From your bucket, you can easily grab the files here by clicking on the three dots, and then it should give you a menu, and then pick download. Now the next thing we want to do is show you how to schedule this backup. So go back to your terminal, and then type in crontab space dash e. Crontab should be installed on your Mac already, you don't need to pre-install this. So you should be good with that. To start typing on this window, you need to press I on your keyboard, and this will allow you to type. Now to start with the command, you need to type in five asterisks separated by space. Then we need the rclone command that we just executed, which is rclone sync, the source, and then the destination. Now the asterisk is represented by a specific time. If you want to schedule your rclone command at 11 a.m., then you want to put 11 here and then 00 on the first star. But then if you want to schedule it for 11 p.m., you want to put 23 over here. Before you rely on your cron tab, the best way to do is leave all five asterisks. This will execute the command every minute. Or if you want to be sure, put a slash one after that first asterisk. This will also execute that command every minute. Oh, and another thing I forgot, you need to add slash user slash local slash bin before the rclone command. That is our command, so the next thing we need to do is just save this. So hit escape on your keyboard to get out of the editing mode. Then press shift zz to save the document. It will then give you this warning, which you need to allow. It basically means that there's an automatic command that will get executed on the background. Now we just have to wait a minute for the command to execute. I did add more files in that folder, so we should see some changes when we refresh the page. That looks good. It executed our command properly. Now, if you have your confidential files that you want to encrypt before you back them up in the cloud, I'll show you how that's done. Now, let's go back to our terminal application and type in our clone config. We want to create a new remote, so press N, then name your remote. I'm going to name mine GCP Encrypt 01, then hit Enter. Now, this is where we're going to pick the encrypt. So scroll up a bit, and it should be number 10. All right, so type in 10 here and then hit enter. So over here, you, we need to put a path on where it's going to back up. So we need the original remote that we created, which is GCP backup 01, followed by colon, and then a slash, and whatever name you want, which will create a separate bucket inside your Google storage. Okay, then over here, you need to choose the type of file name encryption that you want. 
So you can't go wrong with any of these. I'm going to pick two. Then it's going to ask you for file folder encryption. You can choose two if you want your file folders to be readable when you look at it online. Then the next thing it's going to ask is a password for your encryption. You can choose to either create your own or generate a random one. So I'm going to create my own password and then confirm it. I made a mistake, so confirm it again. I'm going to retype it. So now you need to create another password. You can leave it blank, but just to make it secure, I'll create another password for this. So we are done. Press Y to finish and then Q to quit the configuration. Now to execute this command, we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did from the last sync, which is our clone sync, the location of the folder. I'm just going to show you I have a new folder that I created, which has a few dummy files in there. Then I'm going to drag the source folder onto our R clone sync. Then put in the destination, which is GCP encrypt 01. And then I'm going to add a folder. So I'll put colon and then whatever folder name you want, which I'm going to name it the same as our previous backup. Then hit enter. It should be pretty quick because I have very small files in there. So if we check our Google Cloud bucket, we should have a new bucket there called encrypt. And if we click that, we should have a new folder in there called Mac Backup 2020. I'm going to click it, and there are our files. As you can see, we have four files in there, and the file name is obscure. Now you can download the file here directly. To do that, click on this three dots here, and then click download. But if you do it this way, you actually won't be able to open the file. You need to decrypt the file first using our clone sync before you can open the file. So even if we try to open this, I know this file is an Excel file based on the file size. I'm just going to add an extension here, which is the Excel extension. I'm going to click use. If you try to open it, it doesn't know what file that is. By the way, if you're finding value on this tutorial so far, please help me out and click the thumbs up button. So to decrypt our files, we need to go back to terminal and type in our clone sync. And then we're going to switch the place here. We're going to copy this part here. We're going to use this now as a source. And then we'll use the downloads as a destination. Now be very careful when you do this because this will sync your destination. This means that we'll copy everything from the source to the destination. As you can see, my downloads folder now has all the files from our bucket, but it actually deleted any old files that was there. So if you just want to grab the files without deleting the destination folder, you need to execute our clone copy instead. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please leave it in the comment below. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you.